I'm just gonna blast right into this one, Chloe. There is no such thing as vegetables. Vegetable isn't so much a botanical term as it is a culinary term. I'm throwing air quotes up here. A vegetable is loosely defined as the edible parts of a plant. That, wait, that means anything can be a vegetable. If I wanna eat my Pan Express cup, but it's not a plant. It has to be of a plant. Yeah, there's wood bark in there. Plant-based? Yeah. That cup is now a vegetable. Good job. You've broken this down far more than I had anticipated. But you know what's not considered a vegetable? Fruit. Because even though it is an edible part of the plant, it also contains the reproductive parts of the plant. Whatever's holding the seed that has been spilled into the flower. Hey, this is a family show. This is a family show. Oh my gosh. So... Of things that are technically considered fruits, we have tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, all fruits. But here's the thing. Are you ready to have your mind blown even more? I guess. Don't even get me started on berries. What? They're, berries are fruits. Oh, berries are absolutely fruits. But are berries berries? Here's a list of popular berries that you can find right now at your local supermarket. Blueberries, cranberries, lingon berries, Bananas, watermelons, tomatoes, pumpkins. No, stop. It's wrong. No, those are all berries. No, it doesn't have the word berry in it. Okay. If we're going to go on that example, here's a list of things that are not berries. Blackberries, raspberries, strawberries. Why are we being lied to? Those are all aggregate fruits. The seeds have combined to make little fruitlets. It's all lies. No such thing as vegetables, and berries are not berries. But pumpkins are. What the f- Chloe, we're gonna talk about another cryptid. Yay! But this one's new. The first sighting of this one was in 2007. That's kind of old. This new cryptid is called the Fresno Nightcrawler. Ooh. Sounds terrifying, right? Yeah. Does it haunt your dreams? No, because I don't know what it is. Oh, I'm going to show you what it is. No. Yes, you'll never be the same. Guys, I'm warning everyone right now. When you see this. You're going to pee and poop your pants. You're going to pee and poop your pants. Twice. You might even pee and poop someone else's pants. <laughs> Are you ready for this, Chloe? Yeah. Here we go. I don't see anything. Just give it a second. There it is. Wait, it just looks like a little blobby. Where are his arms? Are there two of them? That's a baby! I don't like this! Look how adorable the little one no, is! I'm gonna kick it. You're gonna... Like, drop kick it. You can't punt the baby okay, Fresno Okay, it has Nightcrawler. no arms. What is it gonna do to me? It Obviously, no it's gonna arms. kick you. Is that the whole video? Yeah. Is that the only sighting of it? That's the clearest sighting of it. There's been other sightings. I could totally take it in a fight. But could you beat it in a foot race? I bet its core strength is through the I, roof. Did you see how it was walking? It, it was very jello-like. It has been sighted in and around Fresno, California and Yosemite. You mean Yosemite? Yes, Yosemite. Oh, now I know what you're yeah. talking about. Okay. And here are some thoughts on the Fresno Nightcrawler is our friend Lou from the Lou Cast Experience. <sighs> Uh, hey guys, yeah, these things are like totally real. I, I ordered a couple off the dark web there. I was going to breed them and make a couple of bucks, I thought. But uh, it's getting out of hand, all right? They're, they're everywhere now. Right? I can't do anything. I'm knee deep in these things all the time. All right, send help, please. All right, Ow, get off. Thanks, Lou. Anyway, we need to go because I need to go catch a Fresno Nightcrawler. Bye. Chloe, have you ever done something so incredibly stupid that it ended up in the history books forever? Yes. What was it? Being born. That is incredibly stupid, and I don't recommend it for anyone. But I have something that may or may not top that. So here's the story of the Battle of Karansebisch. During the Austro-Turkish War of 1787, the Austrian army set up camp around the town of Karansebisch, Romania. The army's vanguard left the main group to scout for signs of the Ottoman army, but all they found was a group of Romani people who promptly sold the soldiers alcohol. Oh, that's nice of them. Now you think that's the happy ending of this story. It is not. Oh. Later, a group of soldiers from the same army found the vanguard with the booze, and naturally they wanted some. But the vanguard didn't want to give up their booze, so a fight broke out. Oh 
no. At one point during the scuffle, someone shouted, Turks! Turks! Which, you know, that's the enemy army. That's the Ottomans. But there were no Turks. They were just them. Thinking the Ottoman army came out of nowhere and attacked them, the Austrians retreated back to their camp while still fighting each other the entire way back. The soldiers in the camp, awakened to the sound of battle, which was just the other half of their own army arriving at the camp. So anyway, they started blasting. This is bad. The whole situation escalated until the entire Austrian army retreated from itself. Where did they go? Away. Sources claim that anywhere from 150 to 10,000 troops were lost in the battle. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It could have been 155, it could have been 9,630. Two days later, the Ottoman army shows up, and they just find dead and wounded Austrian soldiers strewn about. They were confused. But they easily took over the town of Karen Sabish, and that's why we know that story. Chloe. I have a feeling that in the midst of the Cold War, Americans and Soviets were willing to try anything to gain the upper hand. Anything? Anything. What comes to the top of your mind when you think, hey, we're willing to try anything to win this Cold War? Jackets. Jackets. Coats. Coats. Mittens. Mittens. Nice cute beanies. Socks. Wool socks? Yup. Can't go with that cotton crap. Nope. Cotton Crack. What? One of the things the Americans tried was Operation Acoustic Kitty. The idea behind Operation Acoustic Kitty was to use cats to spy on the Soviet embassies. Cats? Cats. Felines. Adorable, razor-clawed, tabby cats. Specifically tabby cats? I mean, I, I'm sure they used any, any variety of cats. We got tabby cats, we got... Maine Coon? Calicos. Oh. Pumas. Panthers. Tigers. Ligers. Lynx. Leopleurodons. Oh! The cats would have small microphones surgically implanted into their ear canals and a radio transmitter implanted at the base of their skull. What I'm imagining, in the mid-1960s, radio transmitters had to be like this big, so the cat's just like, Meow. No, they were small, but I, I do like that visual. Because of all the ways it could have possibly gone wrong, that wasn't one of them, surprisingly. What happened? I'll tell you exactly what happened. On the first mission, the Americans released the cat so it could go spy on the Soviet embassy in Washington, D.C. Yeah, I was kind of surprised that there was a Soviet embassy in the yeah, Washington... Yeah, I was like, what the f... Yeah, I had to double check Soviet that. <laughs> so, in the middle of the Cold War, there's a Soviet embassy in Washington, D.C. Anyway, the cat was released and was immediately ran over by a taxi and killed. No! The project was cancelled in 1967 for being impractical. Hello, everybody! Do you like bonus content? I, I hope they do. No, I will sit here and wait for an answer from them. Okay, let's just assume that they like bonus content. You know where you can get more bonus content? Chloe, tell them! On our Patreon! Whee! It is a thing that we made and we are new to. So you can go on this journey with us. Yeah, and pay for it. But Chloe, the fees are low. We're not even doing monthly fees. It is per YouTube video, which check the schedule. We're pumping out like two a year. We might get up to three or four. But it's all worth it. And not only bonus content, you, the viewer, can vote on topics that we, me and Chloe, will cover. That's amazing. Right? We're making our own little community here and we want you to be part of it. Please join. Pretty please. I have no friends, 